Have you ever felt like your stomach was more like a balloon than a food digesting machine? While GI-related conditions like irritable bowel syndrome can cause bloating, there are foods that cause bloating and foods that reduce bloating. If you're feeling uncomfortably bloated after meals, it's time to think about what you're eating. In today's video, we will share with you the top 10 best anti-bloat foods that reduce bloating and the 5 worst that cause it. Before we continue, if you have not subscribed yet, do it now. Let's start off with the best foods. Number 1. Cucumbers Cucumbers are commonly used to reduce puffiness under the eyes, and you can eat them to do the same for your stomach. These refreshing vegetables are one of the best ways to eat your way to better hydration as they contain 95% water. Because they are incredibly hydrating, they can help to flush the GI tract, increasing the passage of food that may result in constipation, gas, and bloat. Cucumbers also contain flavonoid quercetin, which can help in the reduction of inflammation in the digestive system. Number 2. Bananas one of the most potassium-dense foods on the planet is the banana. By regulating sodium levels in the body, you can prevent water retention and thus reduce salt-induced bloating. Bananas also contain soluble fiber, which can help relieve or prevent constipation. In a study published in the journal Anro, eating a pre-meal banana reduced bloating by a significant amount for healthy female participants. According to the research, the prebiotics in the fruit is responsible for the stomach soothing effects. Number 3. Papaya Papaya contains the enzyme papain, which helps digestion by breaking down proteins in the GI tract. This tropical fruit also has anti-inflammatory properties and fibers that help maintain a healthy digestive system. Papaya can be eaten whole or blended into a smoothie. Number 4. Yogurt Yogurt has been shown to improve digestive health because it contains probiotics. Probiotics are beneficial bacteria that help in digestion and promote the overall health of your digestive tract. Eating yogurt brings probiotics into your system to help digest food and maintain a healthy gut. It's also high in potassium, which is a micronutrient that has been shown to help with bloating. Number 5. Watermelon Because watermelon is mostly water, it can help in rehydration and bloating reduction. It may seem counterintuitive, but getting more fluids can help flush out excess salt that may be causing your body to hold on to water. Number 6. Avocado Avocado is well known for its healthy fats, but it is also high in fiber. Fiber is a prebiotic that can help feed the good bacteria in your gut, reducing gas and constipation and potentially helping with bloating. Number 7. Green Tea Tea time has more advantages than just motivating you to take a break from work. Green tea is an excellent source of antioxidants and also has diuretic properties. According to research, green tea has been shown to reduce inflammation in the digestive tract by maintaining good gut health. Number 8. Raspberries Raspberries are high in prebiotic fiber, which is a food source for good bacteria in your gut. They're also high in moisture, making them an ideal tasty treat. When you're feeling bloated, they're also low in sugar and calories, making them a healthy snack all around. Number 9. Ginger Ginger contains the digestive enzyme zingibane, which helps in the breakdown of protein in the digestive system. The compound potentially helps in the digestion of foods. Certain compounds in ginger, such as gingerol, helps in the release of gas from the stomach, reducing bloating. You probably don't want to eat if you're already bloated. So sip homemade ginger tea instead. Number 10. Lemons. Fresh lemons are high in water. Their strong sour flavor may encourage you to drink more water to quench your thirst, which can help with bloating. Lemon may stimulate your liver to release bile, which can help digestion and prevent clogs. When you're feeling bloated, squeeze some fresh lemon juice into your food or add a wedge to warm water or hot tea. Now, let's see the foods that cause bloating. Number 1. Legumes It's probably no surprise that beans along with lentils, soybeans, and peas are gas-producing foods. They're basically protein bursts in a pod, but they also contain sugars and fibers that our bodies can't digest. When legumes reach the large intestine, your gut bacteria take command and feast on them. This process produces gas, 
which can cause your waste to balloon. Combine legumes with easily digestible whole grains such as rice or quinoa. Your body will eventually become accustomed to them. If you eat fruits, vegetables, nuts, whole grains, and beans frequently, they will not bother you as much as if you eat them infrequently. Number 2. Salty Foods High sodium foods can cause water retention, which can cause you to bloat. However, avoiding sodium is more complicated than avoiding the salt shaker. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, nearly 90% of Americans consume more sodium than is recommended for a healthy diet. Most processed and packaged foods, including soups, bread, and other surprisingly salty foods contain sodium that makes it extremely difficult to avoid. If you do succumb to salt, make sure to drink plenty of water to help flush it out. Number 3. Dairy Products If a few slices of cheese or a bowl of cereal with milk makes you feel gassy, you may be lactose intolerant, which means your body lacks the enzymes needed to break down lactose, the sugar found in dairy products. This can cause gas to form in the GI tract, which can lead to bloating. So before all the gas gets to you, avoid dairy products and instead pick one of the many lactose-free or non-dairy alternatives available. The American Gastroenterological Association also recommends lactase tablets, such as Lactaid, to help people digest lactose-containing foods. Number 4. Apples and Pears Apples and pears are both popular fruits that are high in fiber, vitamins, and antioxidants. They're also known to cause bloating and other digestive issues. This is because they contain fructose, a fruit sugar that many people find difficult to digest. Pears also contain sorbitol, which can cause bloating in some people. Cooked apples and pears are often easier to digest than fresh apples and pears. People can also replace apples and pears in their diet with other fruits that are less likely to cause bloating. Number 5. Cruciferous Vegetables Cruciferous vegetables like kale, broccoli, and cabbage contain raffinose, a sugar that remains undigested until bacteria in your gut ferment it. This causes you to bloat and produces gas. But hold off on avoiding those nutritious greens just yet. Eating nutrient-rich and high-fiber foods on a regular basis leads to a stronger and healthier digestive system that is less prone to bloating. So keep eating the green stuff, but limit your portions. If you absolutely must have even a gram of kale, then steam it. Cooking any vegetable softens the fiber and reduces the portion size as some of the water evaporates, allowing it to fit into the GI tract more easily. It won't completely eliminate or prevent bloating, but it might make your vegetables easier to digest. How to prevent bloating? Bloating is most often caused by certain foods or beverages in the diet rather than a serious medical condition. Foods that cause bloating in one person might not cause bloating in another. People should only avoid foods that cause bloating to them, rather than eliminate all foods that cause bloating. If avoiding certain foods does not relieve bloating, consult a doctor or dietitian who can address any specific concerns. They may also suggest specific supplements to help digestion and reduce the likelihood of bloating, such as probiotics or digestive enzymes. In the rare case when the diet is not the cause of bloating, it is possible that a medical condition is responsible. If you find this video helpful, give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more interesting videos about your health.